Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create synthetic and custom symbols on MetaTrader 5. Now, before I do proceed, I would like to mention if you'd like to try out MetaTrader 5 for absolutely free, you can follow the link at the very beginning or at the very end of the video. I'll also be providing this same link down in the description below. This link will be clickable. So this will bring you directly to a demo signup page for your MetaTrader 5 platform. Now onto the video, creating custom and synthetic symbols can get quite complex. You can use user created expressions, formulas, and there's just a whole lot of customization that can be added to this. I'll be showing you a pretty brief tutorial and just showing you how to get your bearings and where this can actually be done on the platform. I won't get too into creating user defined expressions and things like that, but I'll show you how to import and export tick data and bar data. So if you'd like to create your own custom or synthetic symbol on MetaTrader 5, you can do so by heading over to view and then going down to symbols. Now, as you can see, there is a button down in the lower right hand corner called create custom symbol. So depending on which symbol you currently have selected in your symbol viewer here, as you can see, I currently have four X highlighted and then I can scroll through the different contracts to start with a base symbol. So if I want, I can scroll down and highlight the euro versus US dollar. And then if I click create custom symbol, now you can see the symbol that it starts with is the euro versus US dollar. And then we can begin to break it down from there. So you pretty much have the potential to customize about every field here, starting from just the symbol in general. Like I said, there's synthetic instrument formulas. You can change the description or the group path, and then we can go even further. You can change it based in the profit currency, your margin currency. You can change how you'd like to spread, the depth of market, how your chart mode is displayed, the background for the contract. Now, as you can see, now that we get into the important fields here, so here we have our contract size in which we can edit to whatever we'd like, how it's calculated. So as you can see, we can change the instrument type Currently, as you saw, we did start with a euro versus US dollar, which is a Forex contract. But if I was doing this for a CFD or a futures contract, I would just simply select that and it would reconfigure a lot of these fields here and adjust it to a Forex or a CFD or a future contract. We'll keep it on Forex for this video. So as you can see, you can also change tick size, your trade, the flag. There's a lot of different options here. Now, what's important to most traders is probably margins, the margin rates, your swaps, as well as the sessions that you trade, which I think is a big deal here. Now, Sunday and Saturday are disabled, but if you're looking to create a symbol for just specific dates only, say for Monday, you could potentially come in here and essentially disable the trading session for our euro versus US dollar for Tuesday. As you can see, you can slide this on a slider here to adjust your hourly trading sessions. So if you only want to display a specific time point within that session, let's say for whatever reason you need to back test or test a specific allocated time, let's say between four and six o'clock, you simply press OK. And now as you can see, our Tuesday time sessions are only between those times. Like I said, if you only want to display one day, you can come in here and just put all your data or your hourly times to zero if you want. So if I only want to display data between Tuesday from four to six o'clock, simply do as I showed below. Now you can also export specific data for a specific time frame or for a specific symbol. So let's cancel out of that. And now again, with our euro versus the US dollar contract selected, if we head over to bars, we can actually, like I suggested before, we'll request specific data 
for a specific time frame. I'll keep it as default for now. But as you can see, when I request bar data, I do get it for the specified time frame up here in the middle top of my symbol window here. Now, for example, as you can see, I get all of this data, the bar data. If I'd like to, I can actually export it, export it to a CSV file, import it from the CSV file into Microsoft Excel, edit the data as needed, and then I can actually come back into here in my specification section, go into a create custom symbol, and then import my custom data from there. I can also do so with the same data and simply import it back into this section here after I have edited it as needed. And you can do the same thing for tick data as well. Simply request it, export your data to a CSV file. Once you have edited it as you like, simply import your ticks into the new created custom symbol that you have. So once you do have that custom symbol created and everything is defined by the user, you would just want to go into specification and select that contract, and then you would import it from there. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, if you are the type of user that does need a very specific custom symbol and synthetic instrument, as you can see, it can be done so, as I did mention before, in the synthetic instrument formula. I'm actually going to open up a MT5 page right now, just showing you what operations are allowed in the symbol formula. If you need to, you can navigate to this on the MetaTrader 5 website under Terminal, Help, Trading Advanced, and Custom Instruments. So as you can see, we do have our synthetic instrument field here. So first off, you'll need to start off with the symbol name. So for example, it does display here if the euro versus the US dollar, and you wanna compare it to the global Britain pound, or the Great Britain pound, excuse me, versus the US dollar, you'll just simply need to format that as in parentheses, euro versus US dollar, times a bid of the Great Britain pound versus the US dollar, if you wanted to do so for the bid. If you wanted to calculate the ask versus these two symbols, it would just be equals ask parentheses euro US dollar times ask the Britain pound versus US dollar designated where I am currently highlighting. So if you want to just get the bid, you can simply type in bid and the symbol name for that, and it'll just show the bid prices. You can do so for the ask as well. And then you have a bunch of different other combinations here. So it's always good to keep that in mind. But as you can see, there's a ton of different customization options here, especially when it comes to the expressions that you can create. I don't want to spend all of this video just showing you the various combinations of the different expressions you can use to create synthetic instruments in which you would essentially compare two instruments and either their bid or their ask or various prices in between the two. Again, if you would like to try and test out synthetic expressions for yourself, I would suggest to come to this following page here. I'll provide it down in the description below. So you can come in here and check out all the different symbol formats for synthetic instruments. As you can see, it's quite a big section of documentation here. And it even goes down further with mathematical functions supported in MQL5. There is a ton of these as well. So it's really hard to pinpoint for the average user on which expression they would like to utilize for their own method. I think this is something that each individual trader needs to look into for themselves. So again, you can check that out using the link I will provide in the description down below. But that is pretty much just a general overview of how to create custom symbols and synthetic instruments on MetaTrader 5. Again, if you'd like to try out the platform and demo it for absolutely free, follow the link down in the description below. It'll bring you to a direct sign up page for the demo. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope you found this video helpful.